what's up guys hope you enjoyed that Corvette uh, we we're driving back from uh, New Smyrna Beach and uh, Corvette blew past me so I sped up my daughter wanted to get a picture of it on her phone so she's a little car addict too so I sped up next to him got a bunch of shots of what you guys saw um, it's pretty cool I was trying to get the guy to take off and uh, see if he do a pull I kept speeding up next to him. I think he was thinking I was trying to race him in the minivan. So maybe he was just afraid he didn't want none of the minivan. He ended up like slowing way down. But uh, got some good shots of his car. <laughs> so it was pretty cool. Uh, it was pretty nice out today in Florida. We just took the kids down to the park up in New Smyrna. It's right on the, the waterway. So. Um, I got my pitman arm installed in the van. I'll do a video later in the week on that. So if you got a lifted van and your steering angle is way off and you get a lot of bump steer, uh, if you order the Pro Comp, it's like the FD500. Um, mine, I did some research on it. I'll do it when I do the video. There's a stamp on the, on the pitman arm on the factory one that shows the Ford part number. So all I did was I went and researched that Ford part number and uh, find out how many spline it was. And then that FD500 uh, is like a 36 spline uh, drop pitman arm up to like a four inch lift. So we installed that last night, uh, you know, but now my steering angle is way up. My, my steering angle is great now. The, the tie rod end bars sit nice and flat, straight all the way across. Um, the downfall is now I gotta align it. So the van's at my work right now. Uh, hopefully Monday or Tuesday we'll get it aligned. Um, we just got a new line machine at work, so I'm going to try to get a little bit more uh, camber and caster adjustment too and see if we can dial in the way it drives. Um, those old E150s are bad for floating a lot, so the rear leaf springs definitely helped out a lot. Um, but yeah, going to order the headers this week for the van. Um, get those installed. My manifolds are leaking. I uh, priced out manifolds, they're like a hundred and something dollars a piece, so I'm already at a couple hundred bucks, you know, for manifolds, so I'm just going to order, I uh, did a lot of research, the uh, JBA uh, headers for it, that's what I'm going to order, I'll do a video when I get those in, um, and then I'm debating on ordering what roof rack, I'm looking around on roof rack, so I'm trying to figure that out, but um, yeah, the van's come a long way, I checked on the truck, the guy is behind on my F F250, the, my OBS. Uh, it's getting painted right now. So it's all torn down in the shop. I went by there and uh, checked with him. Uh, he said he got, got behind on some other jobs. He's kind of working me a deal on the paint job because I was just going to paint the roof and the hood. Um, but the way, once I pulled the cab lights off, the original paint underneath, it, it's a lot darker than the silver paint that's on there, which you guys can go back and watch the, the video on that. Um, so we just decided to paint the whole truck, you know. Um, he's got some body work to do on some doors, so I'm expecting not to have that one back for probably another three or four months, it'll probably be June before I get it back, which I'm kind of bummed out about that, but that's how it goes when you uh, get into customizing stuff. and. Uh, waiting on somebody else to, to finish a paint job so yeah I'll get the when I get the F-250 back we'll start putting that back together hopefully I'll get some content on that and then the Cutlass has been running real good uh, we kind of got that dialed in I've been staying with uh, like a 93 octane it's the only way it runs good if I if I go to 89 or 87 she hates it so the 455 does not like the lower grade gas I have to stick with 93 and it has to be from like shell or mobile um, with the additives. It doesn't like any of the off-brand gases for whatever reason. So it's carbureted, um, it's a work in progress. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown on all the all the stuff we got going on. And um, hope you guys enjoyed the video of the vet. You know, it was kind of short, but uh, hope you guys have a right, great rest of the weekend. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Appreciate you guys watching. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. Um, got a lot of cool content coming up. Right, a bunch of car, 
truck and car shows are coming up in Florida so uh, hopefully we'll be at those with the family so yeah appreciate everybody watching and I hope everybody has a good day